Okay, we're back at this guy. I've got 98 Pikmin with me, which is pretty good. Vast majority are blue, which is also pretty good. I need you guys to not clump up like that, actually. Thank you. I guess I'll just throw my red Pikmin away. Hopefully not over the edge of the world. I think I threw a couple blues in there. And I still didn't get all the reds. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, it feels dangerous going in with this many at one time. Not gonna lie. I feel like going in with a smaller group is going to be more beneficial. So let's do that. Go with 30. 30 seems... 30 seems like it'll work pretty well. Okay. So, will this guy immediately get up this time? I don't think he will. Can I spicy spray? I can't spicy spray while I'm holding someone. But I can spicy spray when I'm not holding someone. Get them all on here. And then fling them all on this guy's head. Excuse me? Stone. Thank you. That's what I was trying to do in the first place. Okay, the stone's gonna break. We're gonna run. We're not gonna get caught on a corner. Sometimes he aims for Olimar and sometimes he aims for Pikmin. And when he aims for Olimar, that's when the Pikmin die. I want to stone him again. Spicy Spray is going to run out soon, but... I really just want this guy to die. Gonna re-spicy. Re-stone. Thank you. Ooh, that got way too close. I'm gonna just burn through my spice... my stone spray on this guy, honestly. Or... or not. Or not. That's not how I expected that to work. I uh, didn't expect to immediately get shot like that. Okay, well, I need more blue Pikmin now. Hey buddy, stay in place please. He's so close to being dead. Just die. Thank you. I lost 30 dudes there. Very, well, 28 dudes there. Really unnecessarily, because I did not expect uh, him breaking out would A, uh, knock all my people down, and B, also knock Olimar down so I couldn't call people to save them. I also couldn't stone spray because I was knocked down. And because of that, I lost 28 dudes. So that kind of sucks, but at least he's down. I would say that's probably the hardest boss in this place, and he's done now. So I never have to fight him again. Unfortunately, I think I have to fight a version of him to save Louie. Uh, but I don't have to fight him in this dungeon again. Did I just send people through the water? I did. God damn it. Okay. Well, I just lost two more guys. Because I wasn't thinking about it. Whatever. We're just going. We're just getting the hell out of here. Lost three people on... 30 people on this floor. Wish it was only three. Lost 30 people on this floor. But all we have left is Spider Den. And then we're done with Hole of Heroes. It's been a long time coming, but we're almost done with this place. The only thing really dangerous here are the big yellow spiders. Or actually, not even the big yellow spider. The big yellow spider is not that dangerous. Just the regular yellow spiders are the dangerous thing. Which I don't know if there even are any. There are a couple yellow spiders. I'll probably need to clear out some of these guys, because uh, they'll probably come after the part. But... I'm not that concerned about it. I just want to try and get rid of any leaves if I currently have them. Much like when I fought the other guy, I feel like a smaller group 
is going to work better here. I'm actually feeling maybe like 15 people. It'll make things go a lot slower, and I do want to try and save some of my spicy or some of my bitter spray. I want to try and avoid using all of my bitter spray. Okay. Eventually, he will put his head down. It's at that point that I can get people on him. Call everyone back. Stop that. The only thing that makes this difficult, like this battle is usually a lot better done with yellow Pikmin. The only thing that's making this difficult is that he's staying in the water during this. Alright, everyone come back. But he's kind of just doing hot donuts. As long as he's just doing hot donuts, he can't really land on me, which is the only way he hurts me. Fortunately, I also kind of failed at flinging people on him, so I didn't really do damage to him either, but... Well, some of his steps are getting a little closer. Guys, thank you. So we're just gonna slow and steady wins the race on this guy. I can't get many people on him at a time anyway. If I was using yellow Pikmin, I could be flinging people on him during this entire little walking about bit, but since he will... since he spawns in the water, I have to use blues for it. So it's gonna go slower, but it will work. I guess one thing I could do is I could spicy. That'll make people attack faster. And I think also do more damage. Oh yeah, they do way more damage when spicy. Alright, this guy's almost down. Now oh, he's real close. One more... One more should do it, as long as I actually land people on him. There we go. Alright, he down. Now let's just try and get this back to base and hopefully not have to deal with any of these bugs. If I can not have to deal with the bugs, I'd be perfectly fine with that. No, they're, they're all gonna go for it. They're all gonna go for it. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? No, don't get him to unlock it over there. Then more people are going to have to deal with him. I don't think I'm going to have an option, actually. <laughs> you guys are in water when he did that. You're fine. There you go. Alright, well, there's the spider taken out too. Mostly care about getting the block back, but I guess if these guys want to try and take a spider back, or want to try and take the spider's corpse instead of the block, then that would be cool. No, you're gonna go for that block. Oh cool, you're gonna just turn around and not deal with it. I'm fine with that. Can we get it back? Yay! Alright, cool. So what I need to do now is just get the heck out of here. I don't need to fight the boss at the bottom. Already fought him. Already got the part. This is the last part in this dungeon. We are done with this dungeon. She's going to abandon everyone and head down the hole. And apparently splash at the same time. Okay, fair enough. I guess that hole was full of water. That was weird. But sure, whatever. I don't think I have to break anything to get out of here. Uh, there might be some nectar behind some of these walls. So I guess I could grab some nectar real quick for my guys who are currently leave. Yeah, because there's Eggy Waggy here. Which... Oh, it didn't even have mites. Yeah, I got, got a few more people flowered. Sure, whatever. Well, let's just not worry about it too much. Let's just get out of here. Uh, we're not going to have enough time to hit the next dungeon in this in-game day. So I guess we will just go through here. We'll read out the new entries that we unlocked. And we'll call it. 
for this recording session because it's been like two and a half hours. <laughs> all in all, this one went way better than some of the previous ones. I feel kind of bad about the past like 12-ish episodes. Pretty much everything involving Wistful Wild and those two dungeons in the first region. Uh, because I, I recording, listening to the recording back, I can hear the amount of frustration I was going through, and that's not what I'm trying to deliver in my content. Like, the goal is to have some fun and hopefully bring some of that fun to the people watching. That's, that's the goal of the channel. So, when I'm not having fun, then that kind of defeats the goal. And so I'm kind of sorry that that's how that worked out. Um, I'm going... I've been trying to be a little bit better about that in this recording session, and I'm going to continue trying to be better about that in the next one. We're almost done with the game. Unfortunately, we're just in, like, the hardest part of the game right now. It's meant to be frustrating, and it certainly is. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to try and be in a bit higher spirits about it. I'm going to try not to get as frustrated. It also will help that I'm already halfway done with Dream Dungeon, so there's not as much that it's going to have to be collected there. Again, if I wanted to just beeline it straight to saving Louie, it would be a lot easier, but I want to get all the things. Now, I will say that I am on a little bit of a time limit with this series, because I'm playing my buddy Tim's copy, and one of the reasons Tim hasn't been on the channel as much is because he's had a new job that really has his schedule not conducive to recording. Uh, he has now gotten another new job that he will be starting at the beginning of this coming year. Yeah, she just has been sending this exact mail for like four days straight. So I'm pretty sure we are out of new mail. We'll just keep getting this one until we finish the game. Um... That being said, I don't think I'm going to do the challenge missions. I was looking back and I never actually finished them uh, on <laughs> on this memory card, so I don't think I ever actually did them, which is kind of unfortunate. I would like I usually like to show off everything I can with a game, but I'm on a time limit with this one because Tim is moving for his new job, and I need to finish this game before that, so I can give this give him back his copy of the game. But anyway, we got the Raging Long Legs, uh, part of the pseudo Arachnia family, Arachnorbs. Arachnorbs boast a wondrous biological composition with silicon based exoskeleton and innards coated with malleable heavy metals. However, much about these creatures remains a mystery, as specimens regularly explode when they are dissected. These explosions produce scorching flames that completely melt all internal organs, leaving us with disappointing lack of information on the inner workings of these species. We must await the development of new dissection processes and more specialized research before we can better understand this enigmatic creature. However, the following observation notes have been recorded. It appears to be leveling terrain for some unknown purpose. Location of eyes and ears not readily apparent. Freezing a specimen may yield new research opportunities. Well, I kind of froze them with the uh, bitter spray. Neither boiling nor baking can diminish this creature's overpowering musky scent. Only suitable for serving to unpleasant in-laws. Fair enough. Looks like we have pretty much filled out the- Oh yeah, we have completely filled out the log. The only thing left is the final boss, which is what we have to beat to beat Lu or save Louie. Uh, but we collected the Modern Amenity series. I had a feeling there'd be another sales pitch. We also got the Blast from the Past series. Is there another one? No, there isn't. Okay. Well, let's start with the Nutrient Silo. Uh, what a fascinating storage container. There's more food crammed in here than I could eat in a lifetime. Louie, however. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've got all the blocks. Uh, yesterday we ventured into a spooky hole. Previously, all the organisms we encountered were massed together in one cave. Had I not divided the Pikmin by color and utilized their unique abilities, I never would have made it out alive. In memory of my daring adventure, I named that hole the Hole of Heroes. 
Feel the joy that only collectors can savor, the happiness for those who have found them all. Enjoy this wonderful feeling to your heart's content. Yeah, we got all a different colored block. When I was a kid, I always wanted my toys to be blue. Blue is such a cool color. Alright. Children throughout the universe are captivated by the very thought of this blue, cool blue disc. You know what? Once again, I'm just going to read the first sentence. Because uh, there's a lot of these. When I observe this object, I can't stop myself from tearing up. I wonder why. It's hard to say, but it might be because some of these items remind me of the past. Remember your treasure toys? You, su you took such good care of them, but some broke anyway. The other day, I accidentally threw out my son's favorite toy. He wouldn't stop crying. Some things that are seem unimportant to adults are treasured by kids. When I was a boy, I sure I felt the same way about my favorite things. Now my family is my treasure. No matter how old you grow, you will ever you will ever be reminded of the treasures of childhood. Take this gift. Since I landed on this planet, I've encountered countless treasures that remind me of my childhood. I wonder why that is. I think it's because the objects we've discovered looked like things I had as a kid. This was this is one of those items. Were Nintendo blocks a thing? Like were they an actual thing? Because I don't remember them at all. Red, the color of memories. Of sunsets at the end of the day, of pure embarrassment. Sure. Remember it, old buddy. Can't believe I had the fortune of finding this thing underground. Looks like a component of a huge mechanical doll. It looks just like the part from a robot in a cartoon I used to watch as a kid. How nostalgic. This futuristic machine makes me feel like I traveled back in time. This relic rose directly from the sands of time. Its shape invokes waves of sweet nostalgia. Alright. All worldly matters from time's start to its end are said to be recorded in this historical vault. This product produces mysterious. Sh this produces a mysterious shape-induced mental effect on all living creatures. This odd rock is completely filled with nostalgia. None can dispute the magical powers of this stone. And a game and watch. Going to bed early is a waste of time for the lively soul. This dream maker makes night fun. All right, cool. Uh, well, we got this guy, Doomsday Apparatus. Perplexing mysteries are often solved in unexpected ways. When I was studying this item earlier today, I was astounded by its unbelievable bulk. It was so heavy, I never could have been able to move it without my burly purple Pikmin. Later analysis, I indicated that this thing was some kind of heavy artillery. It's a weight. Alright. We should have seven new treasures in total, I think. Maybe eight. Oh, yeah, we got a new set here. Uh, this is this part of some enormously giant unknown life form? What might the entire beast look like? I don't know, you'll never see one. This shiny pod was found buried in a time like a time capsule holding image data of unknown origin. What is wrong with the delicate dance of beautification, flattery, and flirtation? What, I ask? Fair enough. Come rain, wind, or typhoon, this stage will always support the singer deep within your soul. Also I have a new item here. Our salvage operations have yielded, un yielded several unbelievably advanced artifacts. According to my analysis, this cutting device can slice through the fabric of time and space. My days of struggling to open food canisters are over. Sure, time and space. Through a dimensional cutter that slices through time and space, this is nothing to be traveled with. I don't think it can do that, but sure. More shocking than a lightning bolt. Faster than a light? No. This able to crush rocks in just one dash. Uh, this is... Is this the flame of hope that spawned humanoid civilization? Hoctate needs new energy sources, and this could be a fine candidate. I mean, it'll run out. Uh, Rubsy... Rubsy Sudsy Dudsy Blue. I'm not reading all of that. <laughs> uh, let's see, was there anything else new? I feel like there should be. Uh, da da da... Maybe that was it. Oh, wow, yeah, that was it. Okay, so that went pretty fast. Fair enough. Well, we finished out one. We're halfway through the Dream Den, but we still have the other half of treasures that we need to get there. But we will do that starting in our next episode. So I will see you guys then.